Hey guys, this is going to be my August favorites video and I haven't done one since April so it's been a while. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is this really cheap nail polish that I bought at my local supermarket and it's called Sinful Colors and I did show you guys this in my last haul video but the color is in Folly. I bought it because I wanted a nice hot pink color for summer. So when I put this on it really looked like a candy apple red but in the direct sunlight it does look a little bit hot pinkish so I was really surprised by this because this is kind of like a no-name brand to me and it was really cheap like two dollars so I wasn't really expecting a lot out of this but I really like it so you might want to check out some other brands other than OPI or China Glaze or whatever you'd be surprised so speaking of OPI what I have on my nails right now is OPI uh, Lincoln Park After Dark or no Lincoln Park After Midnight and the difference between Midnight and After Dark is that Midnight has sparkles in it so that's what I have on my nails. For eyeshadow, I've been really digging my Stila eyeshadow in Kitten. And I can't open it as you can see because I totally cracked it. I was filming a video and I dropped it and it shattered everywhere so powder gets everywhere. But what I really like about this is the shade and how you can use it for practically anything. What I typically do is I just put it all over the lid to help brighten my eyes a little. Um, my brow bone to help give more light to it and then also inner corner to just, just open my eyes. So this I like for practically anything. If I'm lazy, all I do is sweep it over my lid. That's it. Um, the thing is though, if you don't put a base underneath it, it will crease on you because it is so powdery. So just a warning, put a base. Okay, this one is from MAC and it's called Night Maneuvers. And this was from the Style Warriors collection. I actually take this with me when I go traveling and what I do with this is if I'm feeling like a date night or just a going out type of look, I will just smoke out with this color. And this color is like a grayish, brownish color. So what I like to do is I just put it out of crease. What I have right now is a little bit of it, but it's not so intensified. But I just place this outer corner or on my lash line and smoke it up for like a one eyeshadow look. So I really like this color. It's not too dark because it's not completely black and it's not too soft. So I like it. So for lips. Now I didn't really want to mention this company because they did send me products. I was supposed to review for them if I liked it, but it kind of got a little weird because I didn't like the way they were running things. I didn't like their shipping. I didn't like their customer service and they wanted to see the video before I posted it on YouTube. So anyway, a lot of things went down with that company and I didn't really support it so I didn't end up doing the review so the stuff that I got the lip product wise I still use and I pretty much do love it which is weird they are really inexpensive they're really cheap but I don't recommend the company that's just me so you guys take whatever you want with that but this is from Dulce Cosmetics and this little lip gloss is really neat because it's almost like a lip stain. So the applicator is really nice because it really fits the shape of your lips. And it's really pigmented. So I have it on my lips right now. And this one is in 03. And then this one is also their lipsticks. And it's like a nice soft rosy pink. So the thing with this though, the packaging is really cheap. As you can see, the lipstick doesn't even fit in the tube. It kind of got messed up for some reason. I don't know how that even happened, but it doesn't fit. Anyway, the company's really inexpensive with their makeup, um, but I do like their lip products. For my cheeks, I bought this blush a long time ago. It's called Spring Sheen. And it's a nice sparkly peachy pink. That's really the best way that I can describe it. But Spring Sheen Blush. Really pretty on tan skin tone. I have it on my cheeks right now. So Spring Sheen, I love it. Couple more things and then I am finished. I have some Biore strips. Now these are for my face. 
I did have some for my nose, but me and my husband, we use them. We like to do stupid stuff like that. Um, we already used them up, so I need to go buy some more. But I do like the nose ones more than the face. Only because the face, I have to cut it to the size that I want it. You know, it's not, you know, already molded. So the nose is already the nose. So I really like these because they're really effective. Now, if you're afraid of pain or... Um, you're really sensitive I really wouldn't use these because they do hurt whenever you start to peel them off and it is abrasive on your skin but they do pick up all of my whiteheads where I have a lot of pores and sweat glands like right here is where I have a lot of buildup and then right over here that is where I need them the most and it does pick it all up so I really enjoy these. This one I bought by mistake actually because my friend Jessica, she came over to my house for a sleepover and she brought over a Dove like a cleansing bar and it had beads in it so it was kind of exfoliating. So I went to Walmart and I tried to find it and I brought back this which is a Go Fresh Burst Dove bar and it's it's kind of the same concept, except it just doesn't have the beads to help exfoliate and scratch your skin. That's what I like the most about it. It actually scratches my skin and it tickles. Um, anyway, so this I really love because it hydrates you. It's really um, milky and it actually feels smooth on your skin. It doesn't feel like soap scum, if you know what I'm talking about. So this does hydrate your skin, so it makes you feel really soft and smooth afterwards. So I really like this. It's something that I typically wouldn't go for because I usually like the shower gels, but this is more luxurious to me. It's almost like um, a nice milky bath type deal. So I like it. Okay, and then this last thing has nothing to do with makeup whatsoever. It is my Clorox bleach pen, and I did do a review of this with before and after pictures of my shower on my blog, and they didn't send this to me. I'm not being sponsored by them. I picked this up myself because my shower, um, in between the grouts, it was getting a little bit dark. And so typically what a lot of people do is they usually just scrub with a toothbrush or they bleach it. But nothing can get really in the crevices of it. So with this, you get two heads. So one looks like a pen, which is perfect for just applying it into the little nooks. And then you have this side, which is like a scrubber. It has a brush at the end. So what I did was I just applied this along my grout in my shower and then I let it sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes, then wiped it off and rinsed it and then it was white, which was pretty amazing. So if you don't want to fuss or mess with scrubbing your grout or whatever, um, a good cleaning tool is definitely the Clorox bleach pen. So with that being said, I do not like the smell of this. It smells so intense that you need to open a window, open your doors, because it will fumigate your whole room. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it because it is bleach, but just beware of that. So that is it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.